Welcome to the next lecture of our course, Mocking with Wiremock.net. And in this lecture, I'll be talking about how we can get a JSON response from a request like this and how we can get it out served from a mocking server like Wiremock.net. So as you can see, all these days we have been getting the body as a string, something like this. So this is how we have been doing all these days within our course. And now we're going to see how we can get a JSON response out of it. Well, in order to do that, the first thing is I'm going to copy this whole code from here, the uh, login operation, or maybe we can also take from a product as you can see over here, and I'm going to paste it somewhere like this. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, I'm going to get an address, something like this. And I'm going to say, this is going to be a get address controller endpoint that I'm going to do it. And you'll also notice that this time the endpoint has got a GET, which is in the small letter, and the A starts in capital letter. And for the JSON response, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a create instead of with body. I'm just going to use dot with, and there is something called as body as JSON. And this method is going to help us get a JSON response out of it. Well, you can see that with body as JSON is going to take a object of the body. So it can be any object type, and then it can be intended as true or false that you can do it over here. So what I'm going to do it over here is I'm going to give a new anonymous type in the C sharp .NET world, where you can just pass an object, something like this over here. So while I do that, you can notice that this is actually going to be a new anonymous type that I can pass in. So you don't have to pass the object over here explicitly, rather you can just say new and then open a braces and close a braces. And then over here, you can just say, I wanted to give the name of the address uh, being Karthik, and then you can give the city is equal to Auckland and you can also give the country is equal to NZ and that's it. So this is the thing that I'm going to be probably displaying if I call the get address endpoint within our postman. That's all. This is what I'm going to be doing over here. And the other things remains the same at this point of time. So as I told you, this is a wild card matcher and I don't really want to pass the ID over here, but even though if I do pass it, so let's try to run this code and see what's going to basically happen. So it's going to run the wiremark.net and I'm going to go to the postman and I'm going to say get address. And if I hit send, you will notice that you are going to get a no matching mapping found. Probably it's because you also have to get the address using the ID as slash one. And you will notice that it is working fine for us over here if I try to pass this over here. And this is happening because we are using a wildcard matcher this time. But what if I try to pass this value as an exact matcher? You can also use an exact matcher class over here. And if I give this exact matcher, and for example, in your test, you wanted to ensure that this get address, the A should be in capital letter, and it should not be in the small letter. So if I just give a, a as the small letter, and if I try to send it up, you will notice that this is not going to work. So even if I just give as get address, you'll still not see that it's going to work. So let's say if I just going to remove the slash because because we don't use the wild card at the moment, so it's just an exact matcher. So let me try to run it again. And if I go to the postman and if I try to hit send button you'll still notice that this is not going to work. The reason why is because the exact matcher is always going to match if the typo is always correct. So the A should be in capital letter. And now if I try to send it, you will notice that this is just going to work. The reason why is because it is an exact matcher. And there are some scenarios where you might actually expect this to happen. So this is about the exact matcher or the wildcard matcher but you will also notice that we are getting a JSON response this time. And you see that the type is basically a JSON. And this is happening because we have got the body as JSON over here. And that's the reason why we are getting a response, something like this, 
and you will realize that this is so easy to do with in wiremark.net so we also learned a bit newer this time we have talked about the exact matcher we can also see we can use a wildcard matcher where you don't really have to worry about the capital letter over here because it's just going to work it's going to be taken care of by the wildcard matcher automatically so if i just going to go back over here and if i just say get address slash one or slash two it is just going to work for us over here so that's about the way that you can get a response as a json body but what if you also have got a type instead of an anonymous type for instance if you got a product type uh, which i can probably write it over here as public record and i'm just going to create a record type instead of a class type because a record type is far more easier so i'm going to say product where the product has got a name so it's going to be string as name and then string as city and string as country something like this so you can have this particular product within your code so what probably i can do it is i'm just going to create this type somewhere outside over here yeah there we go so now this product is something which i wanted to pass in as a json type over here so instead of this new type i can now pass the product type over here so i'm just going to go and paste it this time and i'm going to say i uh, get address from object and i'm just going to say with json is equal to new of the product where i can pass whatever that i wanted to so sorry it's not product basically i was just going wrong this should be address and because i just copy paste it from the product i just feel still it's like a product so on the address over here i'm just going to say the name is equal to prashant and the country is going to, oh, sorry city is going to be chennai and the country is going to be india for and now if i try to uh close this whole thing something like this you will re realize that the code is still going to be legal pretty much like how we did over here uh, on the anonymous type but this is a record type that i'm passing in and now this time if i just go and if i say uh, get address from object just this one and if i pass whatever number they wanted to you will realize that i'm getting a name as prashant city as chennai and country as india so this is how things are going to work if you're just going to pass an record type or a class type or whatever type that you wanted to and it's just going to work as expected so this is how we can work with a json response coming out for us from within this mock using wiremock.net